off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, bracket. I lift up and cut the bracket of stegite. I'll talk about a few things here, and then we'll see what we can see, and then um, I might talk about some of the internal structures as well. We will have demos for those. So I'm cutting up towards the rostrum. That's the rostrum right there. So cut through the uh, carapace here. And then I'm going to do a 90 degree and cut down just behind the eye. Okay. So once I get that puppy kind of pulled off, these are all gills. That's all gill tissue there. Okay, that's gill tissue. This right there, that's the mandibular muscle. We'll talk about that. This right here is green gland and digestive gland. Um, this right up here is the stomach. So we have a cardiac portion, or a, a cardiac portion up here and a renal uh, polar portion back here. But I'll discuss more of the internal structures when we get to them. I just want to get that off to get me access. So what we're going to do is go in and pull the base of the kilopet off. You know, most of it's broken off. It's important to pull the base of this off. That allows access to the other, the bases of the other appendages. Okay, that's the basic kilopad. That's the other part. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is identify. So this right there is that leg-like endopod on the third maxillopad. I'm going to go identify that should be this whole structure there. Again, I'm just going to make another set for you guys to actually have available here. Let's see if we can do it without mastering it too much. Okay, so here, again, we have the very distinctive endopod, the antennae like exopod. We have the gill, which is the epipod. So the base down here will be the protopod. Okay, so that's an intact third maxilloped. Okay, we're going to identify the second maxilloped. Okay, so there's this second one. Get off of the forceps there. So again, we have an antennae-like exopod, this sort of, I don't know, thumb-like endopod. We have a gill. So that's the second maxilloped. the first maxilloped, and here's the uh, sort of antennae-like um, exopod. There should be a little finger-like structure there, which is going to be the uh, endopod, and most of this back through here is all uh, protopod. Okay. Do the next one here. So we've got three maxillopeds, and now we're going to go ahead and pull out the second maxilla. Okay, so there's the baler right there. That little piece there, that little hair-like structure there is the endopod, and then we have this multi-lobed uh, portion of the protopod. Okay, next. That I believe is most of the, let's turn around here, uh, first maxilla. You got a little bit of the endopod and then the lobes of the protopod. Now for mandibles, so 
I do is get them pried open. There we go. Once you get it open a little bit. Grab that mandible, and if you kind of twist it, and if you're gentle, there we go. So we have the mandible here, and I'll show you is attached to the mandible. If I can get it down there. Right there's the right there's the palp. Okay, so that did the palp on the mandible, and I pulled it with the mandibular muscle attached. Okay, so I got the mandibular muscle attached. So we'll go ahead. And see what time is it now? Okay. Um, let me go ahead and actually explain about some diagrams of major internal organs, and that way you guys can. Uh, in the last half hour, as sort of a free-for-all looking at mouth parts. So we have a, a set. I'll leave those there. That's okay for you guys. Are, okay, and whose crayfish was this?